wipe off, gloss off. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Kate, the Dancing Yvonne Lady, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how I'm going to satisfy my cravings with zero calories. Intrigued? I hope so. <laughs> so, it is now the beginning of Campaign 5, and I want to introduce to you, oh, look at this! Avon's new Crave Lip Gloss, and oh my gosh, are you ever in for a yummy, yummy treat. In this campaign, it is full of brand new lip glosses and lip products that has launched our newest hashtag. Wait, is that how they do it? Sure, we'll do it like this. And their newest hashtag, Lip Mania. You don't even understand how excited I am for this brochure and for this campaign because you know how much, well, if you follow my channel and you follow my Instagram and you know me in person, you know how much lip products are important to me. I love lip products and oh my gosh, these are going to blow my mind. So in campaign five, we're launching our new Lip Mania lip glosses, which has 12 deliciously scented and flavored lip glosses. So these lip glosses, they um, they have they have a really nice shine to it, and also it's been formulated with vitamin E to also moisturize your lips. They're super sheer, so it's not really heavy um, heavy pigmented. It's just like a little kiss of color, which is always nice and fun and flirtatious. Because they're launching so many different lip products, they've actually created a really, really great offer. Avon is creating uh, a Lip Mania offer of any three of the lip products for only $12.99. Can I say deal alert? That's a total deal alert. And so this, you can mix and match from the lip glosses, the lipsticks, or the lip liners. So the lip, this lip glosses, there's actually 12 new shades for the nourishing lipstick, which is the line that they're going to be using for, um, in this deal, they have 15 new shades. That's right, 15 new lipstick shades. And then for the lip liners, there's eight of the new Glimmer Stick self-sharpening um, lip shades as well. I have for you to show you today, I'm going to swatch five of the lip glosses and one of the lipsticks. So I thought I ordered some lip liners, but for, I guess I forgot to. I did all, I, I pre-ordered everything before I left for vacation, and it was such a rush that I probably just forgot something knowing me, that's probably what happened. So the different ones that they have, they have pumpkin latte, chocolate brownie, salted caramel, peach bellini, strawberry glaze, cherry creamsicle, french toast, birthday cake, citrus sangria, honey tea, minted apple, and cucumber spritzers. Does that not sound amazing? Like, I don't know if I'm hungry right now, or if I'm hungry right now. <laughs> I only purchased five of the lip glosses right now, but these ones sounded so yummy, and I wanted to give you a little bit of a range of color. So I have like a pinkish one, which is the strawberry glaze one. When you open it up, it smells like strawberry candy. Yeah. It smells like strawberry candy. Like strawberry Skittles! Do they even have Skittles, strawberry? It's like strawberry Skittles. But anyways, if they were to marry a strawberry and a Skittle, this is what it would smell like. So this is the, once again, the strawberry glaze. And if you compare it to my top lip, you can see it's just a little, little hint of color. So it's not heavily pigmented, which is, you know, sometimes it's a really nice look that you want to go for. But see, that way you can see the difference in color. So this is my natural lip color, and this is with the strawberry. Okay, and now for the taste test. Macaroon. Oh, there it is. It's not sweet, which is interesting. I think it gives the illusion of sweetness. But it actually doesn't have like a sugary taste to it. It smells really sweet, but it just has like this little lingering strawberry. It's like, oh, oh, oh. It's like after you drink a strawberry milkshake, that aftertaste of the, the good part of the aftertaste is <laughs> like you just have this aroma of strawberry that fills your mouth. Should I classify this as a beauty vlog or a food vlog? I don't know, but it's really yummy. It's like, I like that it's not sweet. So this, my darlings, is the strawberry glazed. I think. The next one, let's try, let's try a more orangey one. So this one is called Peach Bellini. I found it a little bit difficult to, to take off, so all I did to, to remove the plastic here was I untwisted it, I pulled it off like this. See how there's still the wrapper there? And all I did was I pushed it up. Ta -da! 
easiest way to get these little thingies off. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Oh, wow. The, it smells just like a real, like a peach bellini. <laughs> it actually smells like a peach bellini. I had peach bellini at uh, Jardin du Nelson or something like that in, uh, in Montreal in Old Port. And I had my very first peach bellini there. And this is bringing back those memories. Sitting on the patio having dinner. Okay, so this one is like super, super, super shiny. Alright, so here. Top, naked lip, bottom, peach bellini. I find this one a lot shinier than the crepe. I feel like the, the light bounces off this more. Ready for the taste test. I don't know if I taste much with this one. It smells amazing though. I don't know if I taste much. I feel like I need a palate cleanser in between. <laughs> this is turning into a food vi uh, video. Yeah, I don't taste much peach in this one, but I do like how shiny this is. This is a great summer color too. And I do have a little bit of a tan from the beach, from beach days. Yeah, it's nice. Very nice. All right, so peach bellini. Wipe off, gloss on. I like that. Oh my gosh! You ever watch Karate Kid? Wax on, wax off, but I'm wipe off, gloss on. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to lose my mind. Okay. Next one. Oh, let's do pumpkin latte. So this is a pumpkin latte. I love how rich this color looks. It's gonna be a very chocolatey looking one. Oh my gosh, it's like I walked into Starbucks in the fall. Oh my god, it's screaming, eat me. Actually, I'll screaming, drink me. Oh wow. My tummy actually just gurgled. I kid you not, my tummy just growled. <laughs> I'm just smelling this one. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, I got an on my lips. It smells so delicious. So it's a bit darker. So bottom lip has stuff on it. Has uh, the pumpkin latte crave lip gloss on it. Top lip is naked. I can't stop smelling this one. Wow. It just makes you feel so warm and fuzzy inside. I love aromatherapy. Like, I love aromatherapy. And so I love the memories that um, scents can give me because like, like I told you, if uh, I've, I lost my sense of smell for a few years so it took me a while to relearn different scents. But it's hard for me to describe scents like musk or whatever or you know florals, blah, blah, blah. But I can tell you how it makes me feel. And this one makes me feel warm and fuzzy and just, I think it's because it's a very much of a fall Christmassy scent. That's my favorite time of the year. Wow, I love this one. You know what the formula? It's very silky. Like really, really silky. It's not tacky at all. Oh, there it is, a little bit. The, t the, s the flavors, I feel, are very, very, very light. Which is good because then it'll prevent me from eating the entire tube. It, yeah, like it's very light. It's just like a kiss. It's a kiss of color and a kiss of flavor, but like bang on for the scent. This one, oh my gosh, so far is a total winner. I love it a little bit too much. Two more. I feel like some of them have a little bit more shine, like a little bit more um, light catchingness to it, iridescent. I don't know if that's the word for it, but I, I, I do feel like this one will be similar to the Peach Bellini in terms of how it reflects the light off my lips. And so this one is called Salted Caramel, which is the candle that I'm actually burning in my house. Oh, oh, oh. This reminds me of those little caramel squares I used to get as a kid. And I loved eating those things. Those were the my go-to candy for Halloween. If someone would give me one of those squares for Halloween, like forget the chips and all that stuff, I wanted those caramel squares. Those were so amazing. This is what this reminds me of. Those old school caramel squares. Oh, yum. 
Thank goodness these are calorie free. Oh, it's like almost metallic. Oh, I like a super duper sweet. So, salted caramel on the bottom, naked on top. Wow, it's like really, really, really sweet smelling. So this is actually a bit similar to the pumpkin latte. It's just it's it's like a couple shades lighter. It's it's seriously like a mix between the chocolate latte and the peach bellini. Like if these two had a baby, it, I think it'd be like this because it has a little bit of that orangey gold tone to it, and then the brown from um well, from the chocolate latte, the pumpkin latte. <laughs> this is making no sense, but that's okay. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. After I got on my lips, I don't know if it's because I'm getting used to it. But the sweetness is fading. Still smells good, but it's not as like in my face caramel like sweet, sweet smell. Taste test time. It's a little odd for me because I think in my brain, I think caramel super sweet, but then when I taste it, you have like that aroma of caramel, but no sweetness. So I think that's why it tastes. It's a little bit weird. My brain is like, I don't understand. Why are you not sugary sweet and, you know, ooey gooey melting on my tongue? It's not bad. It's just a little weird. The final Crave lip gloss I have to swatch for you today is this beauty here, which is the Minted Apple Lip Gloss. Minted Apple. I don't think I've ever bought an apple lip gloss. Ever. In my life. Except for like the color, apple cinnamon but an apple scented one, I think it's gonna be delicious. You know which one they should come up with? They should come up with a pear one. I love pears. Oh, interesting. It smells exactly like the name describes, minted apple. It's very fresh, like super duper fresh. Like this is such a spring scent to me. And it smells like a, um, kind of like a car freshener. <laughs> But in a great way, not in a bad way. All right, well, let's give this one a try. It's green. Oh, I can feel the tingles, the little tingly. So there's a the bottom, which has the minted apple, and the top is nothing. Breathe in through your mouth. If you get this one, try and breathe in through your mouth. It's so refreshing. It's like chewing gum without needing to chew gum. This one's like the lightest one of them all, obviously. I think I would almost say with my lip tone, like with my base tone for my lips, it's almost just like a clear gloss that smells like delicious apples with mint. It's really nice though. It's like if you're doing a smoky eye and you want just something a little bit sheer and just draw a little bit of attention to your lips, got this one. Like this, you know, I can barely notice any color to it, but it's making my lips look really plump and really pretty. Let's try. Oh wow, okay. This one has a lot of minty flavor. Oh, and the touch of apple, there it is. This one tastes exactly like, to me it tastes exactly like what the name implies, minted apple. The mint hits you first and then you get a kiss of apple. So this one's very true to its name. So let's see, out of all of these ones, I think my day to day one would probably be these two here for myself anyways. You know what, uh, okay. I wanna try a mix of it probably on Instagram uh, because if not, this video is gonna be really long. But uh, a mix of these two together. I think that'd be a really pretty, pretty mix together. And then these two would make a nice mix. And then also these two would make a nice mix and these two would make a nice mix. And uh, these two might make an interesting mix. But like it's fun because like you can take one lip, lip color, like just like two or just take whatever lip color collection you have and you can make so many different types of variations which is always so much fun to do. It's just experiment and have a good time. But yeah, I probably, out of all of these, I'd probably use these two the most, I think, for now. This one I feel is a little bit more, um, is darker. I love how this one smells though. Like I'm in love with how the pumpkin latte smells. This one I would say the minted apple one would probably be the truest to its name. The strawberry one is really, really pretty. The, they're all really, really pretty. I mean, the beautiful thing about lip glosses and how sheer they are is that they can just really work with your base lip tone and match you. So, I mean, I'd probably use all of them, but most likely I'd use these two the most. So out of all the, the five that I tried, for you in this video, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite on me and which one you think that looked the best on my skin or on my face today. All right, so now I wanna move on. I also ordered one of the lipsticks. They have 
15 new shades of lip colors that's coming out, including colors such as Raspberry Rosé, uh, Concord Grape, Sparkling Rose, Toasted Cashew, Lychee Pink. I mean, there's, I think it's like all, <laughs> all very, uh, food inspired. We're into a food inspired phase right now, which I am on board. I am game for because you guys know how much I love my food. Okay, so this one here is the Nourishing Lip Color. It's the uh, True Color Nourishing Lipstick. It's infused with marine collagen and also jojoba oil to help nourish and um, soften your lips as well as to create like plumper lips and, and help to eradicate some fine lines. Um, I've used this lip, lip line before. My Berry Sangria lipstick is actually the nourishing line. It's, it's one of my one of my go-to ones actually. If I'm if I'm doing a quick video, I've worn it on many several videos, and I also used it in several mixes too. So this one here, it's called the Dragon Fruit Blush. It is very purple. <laughs> Which is okay. I've learned that I like purple on my lips. I've actually been using a lot of purple on my lips. It's supposed to in two weeks time if you worn daily. It'll help to reduce the dryness in your lips. Fighting lip dryness, especially at this time of the year when our heat is always on up here in Canada, is super important. I moisturize my lips like so many times during a day. Just I don't like it when my lips get dry and I love, like I said, I love lip products. And so this has a medium to full coverage and it has a satin finish. <gasps> oh, I love this formula too, like the nourishing lip line. I love the formula. Whoa, oh my gosh, isn't this beautiful? <gasps> it is so pretty. And this, I feel like this one has enough shine to it that I don't even need to add a gloss on top. Sometimes I put a gloss on top of my lipstick to uh, give it more, my lips more dimension. But this one is like, so gorgeous. I like the purple in it. I really like the purple in it. So yeah, what do you think? Do you like? Do you like? I love. So this, I like the feel it on my lips. It is very, very, very buttery. Not like heavy, like buttery in the in terms of heaviness, but in the terms of moisturization. Yeah, it feels really, really good on my lips. That's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you do give me a big fat thumbs up. If you want to see more colors on me or if there's a specific color that you want me to try and swatch for you, make sure you just leave me a comment in, the, in below and then I'll go ahead and order it for the next video. Make sure if you're new to my channel, you do click that subscribe button as well as the bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I have new videos up for you every single week about Ava, about dance, about life, about Ginevra, about food, about absolutely everything and anything that's going on. So I love you guys. Until the next one, long, 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 long. Bye!